started um, when I met Tech Nine. We were at a uh, he, he he opened for me at a show in Kansas City. I think like mid '90s, '94. Yeah, I think it was '94. He was opening. We met backstage. You know what I mean? We heard that we had semi heard about each other. I mean, obviously, you know, he's opened up for me, so he heard about me, and I had heard his name around too. You know what I mean? And I heard him rhyme. He heard me rhyme. Ever since we were cool, back and forth, back and forth. Years passed. We signed with J Core. Well, he signed with J Core, not signed with J Core, but we didn't know we were signing his label mate. And that's when I used, I released that Block Movement album with Sebo, and he released Angelica, I believe so. And and then we kind of hooked up again. Then, you know, me motherfuckers did good numbers. J Core shut down. Both albums did good numbers. J Core shut down. I guess uh, Tech Nine went off and started Strange. I came back home and started Sick My Music. You know what I mean? Which is now made sick. You know what I mean? And and one day, uh, Tech Nine hit me up on the phone and said, I want you to get on the song on this album Ever Ready that I'm about to do. And I said, okay, send me the beat. Send me the beat. I did my part, sent it back to him. He had his part on there already. And, uh, and, he, and we were supposed to get Eminem, but you know how busy he is. So we got another guy on there. And I guess when they heard that song, from what I hear, they heard that song, the verse I did on there, and they was like, we got to get him. So they grabbed Dave Weiner, who I had been signed with at Priority, grabbed him and said, get Lynch. And Dave had just moved back from Hawaii. He got me, grabbed me, said, Strange, want to sign you. So let's see what they're talking about. And once they told me what they were talking about, I was like, okay, let's do it. Yeah, I was, I, well, I, I did a couple albums with my boy COS. You know what I mean? We were trying to stay above water. You know, with this label, I was releasing them on my own label. You know what I mean? Of course, you know, niggas ain't doing it like Strange was doing it. You know what I mean? But, you know, we were getting all right stuff and stuff. And just staying above water and, and knowing that somebody was going to want me. I mean, I had a, a deal offered from Snoop and everything, but he's a real busy dude. So I didn't feel like waiting, even though I had already waited about three years to, you know, figure out what I wanted to do. Snoop came calling. You know what I mean? Because he did the song that was on dinner in the movie. He was like, man, you should find me. You know what I mean? I was like, all right, it's cool. You know, you know what I mean? But he'd be real busy and I couldn't wait. You know what I mean? And then when the strange came along, you know what I mean? That's when I was like, fuck it. I told Snoop, I was like, man, we'll go with strange. You know what I mean? So it was pretty much doing nothing. Just smoking weed and doing that. You know what I mean? Getting wet every once in a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just doing my thing. You know, until something came along, you know what I mean? Nobody ever sees me, so I can pretty much do what I want. You know what I mean? Come here, hang with my dudes at the studio and create shit. We got so much in the in the kitchen already. That we don't even need to cook no more. You know what I mean? So that's what I did on that whole off time before starting. That was about what, four years thing. Yeah, my baby daughter, she stays in San Diego with my ex. And I got my son. You know what I mean? I got two grown kids that's doing anything. You know, made me a grandpa and shit. My son did. And then and my daughter, she's gonna be signing my label, so she be us too, so. You know what I mean? And, 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 you know, the two grown ones, they do their thing. But my daughter comes by, my older daughter comes by here. My younger daughter stayed in San Diego. And I seen her on when we did Stranger Days to her last year or two. Um, I talked to her about it. Oh, we good. Everything is like, you know, just got a new video of mine put up on MTV. Just played for the first time last night on MTV and stuff. And everybody's juice waiting to see what the reaction we get out of the new album. You know what I mean? So everything's good. What I say new artists should do is use these social networks since they're free. You know what I mean? And, and have a love for music. If you're doing it for money, it's not good. If you're doing it just to make some money, you might as well not even do it because it's a hard system already in place. So, you know what I mean? You, it's, it's, the game is closing. Stores are closing down and shit. You know what I mean? All the towers are gone. Dimples are dropping. You know what I mean? And and try to figure out what the switch is going to be. Whether it's just going to be online sales, do good music, love the music that you do, and don't do nothing for money. Don't do nothing just to have a video on TV. I'm juiced that my video's on MTV too. Let's love the MTV. You know what I mean? 
But at the same time, man, I'd rather have longevity than, than short, man. You know what I mean? They, they fucked Ice Cube. Well, see, I've been you. down, you know, for about 20 plus years. You know what I mean? He got on my loaded album. Was about to go go. You know what I mean? And now he's on my new single on MTV, Spit It Out. But the boy has been down with me for a long time, hanging it out, whether my career is good or bad. And the boy got skills. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, he just, you know how to make you laugh, you know how to make you cry. You know what I mean? He, he knows how to preach. He knows how to get, do good shit to get you high. You know what I mean? Shit type of music. You know what I mean? And, and, and this is due time, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna bring him in. He's my number one artist on my label, Made Sick Music. You know what I mean? Along with G-Mac, and I got a whole bunch of, you know, up and coming artists, stuff and artist development, doing that stuff. So he's the only dude I know, right? He don't use the paper to write. I don't know how he does it. I've tried it, and it can't be done. I ain't never seen it, you know what I mean? But uh, he's on a new single, Spit It Out on MTV2 now. And, and just, you know, give him a chance and peep that shit out, man. Peep out what he talking about, where how his metaphors go, and, how deep shit is, you know what I mean? I mean, everybody feels like since I've been out for a long time, they love to listen to my deep music, but I actually learned how to open up like that from this guy, because he, he, he's good at opening up like that. You know what I mean? So I just beat game for him, just like he's beat game for me, and, and we kind of, you know, develop both styles, because this boy used to rhyme hard just like me, and then he found his niche and said, man, this is where I want to go. So people need to check that out, beat that guy out. I say season because I say man of Electra, and it ain't even done yet. If you can understand what I'm saying about that, yeah. but I say season of the album that's out because I was able to fight through a lot of shit to get that album done yeah. without like jumping bad and over the shit that was happening and ending up in jail and shit like that. I just pushed him to the side as much as I could and said, fuck it, I'm gonna go to the studio instead of go out at midnight, you know what I mean? And you can hear different music too. You know what I mean? So, and, and you know, they said music is therapy. I never believed that shit, you know what I mean? But, you know, once I got to let all that shit out, I feel like hella pressure left, you know what I mean? So it was, it was good for me. But you know, I'd much rather have been doing the other thing, but where would I be right now? You know what I mean? And, and my cousin that got killed, if his older brother can get over it, I should have been able to get over it. And he understands that too. So. It's just like every time I do an album, something bad happens. When I did a load, my mom died. You know what I mean? So she got me almost scared to do an album. Something bad happens. You know what I mean? Something bad happened during dinner in the movie. I don't really want to disclose. You know what I mean? Something bad, it, just something minorly bad happened during co hanger but I made it through. You know what I mean? So, I don't know if that helps my music or not, but it seems like something's sending it down to me, like it's time to do another album. You know what I mean? That's what keeps me real. You know what I mean? That's what keeps me when I say all the stuff that I say and I get a fuck in the life. All right, these are the links that you can go check me out, obviously, on Twitter, just at Brother Lynch on the full name, not The Real Brother Lynch on. You know what I mean? I was lucky to get that. And then, uh, TheRealBrotherLynchHunk.com. You know what I mean? Then go to Sick TV, YouTube.com slash Sick TV, S-I-C-C-T-E-E-V-E-E. -E -E -E. Right, me and Don started Made Sick Movies and Don Rob Flicks. So if you want to go see some of our commercials and some of the Made Sick artists, uh, videos and shit, check me out there. And then hit my, my MySpace, The Real Brother Lynch Hunk. You know what I mean? And my Facebook, Kevin Mann. You know what I mean? I didn't make no artist page because I don't you know, believe in that shit on the, on the Facebook. So that's pretty much all the places. But you got to go check that Sick TV and SickTV.com because that's where our future is right there. You'll see where our future is going. All right, this is Brother Lynch on the Co-Hanger Strangler. Shots out to WWS Mag. This is Rude Boy. Shots out to my nigga Rude Boy. Rude Boy. <laughs>